time maybe to move on from organic because organic didn't take into account, didn't, wasn't aware when it was created as a movement of climate change. And I'm just curious, do you think What's that, the argument? How do you move on? What, what's the prescription? Well, he believed that regenerative agriculture would, this is a, a kind of a big question, but he, he thought that the principles of regenerative agriculture of no-till were going to sequester vastly more carbon than- Oh shit, the, I bet that lit you up. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a lie. Uh, the no-till people love to pursue this. But first you have to look at where all the no-till uh, scientific research came from. It came from the companies who were producing herbicides. They were the ones who were trying to convince farmers, hey, this no-till is, is a good idea. And I have uh, copies in my files of studies, one down, done in, uh, uh, down in near DC by the USDA themselves one done out in California, and they both determined that regular old organic farming puts more carbon in the soil than no-till. And if you think about it, regular so hang old- on, Hang on, just so the, the, because this is gonna be for the regular public too, you gotta to explain that. When you, you're saying regular old farm, you're saying you believe in the plow okay. if it's used okay. correctly, right? Well, I no, mean, so you gotta, no, you gotta, no not, not the plow. Uh, the plow wasn't a good, Tool, but mixing organic matter into the surface of the soil, which is what uh, Edward Faulkner, who wrote Plowman's Folly, yeah. he was only against turning the furrow over and burying the organic matter down in an airless layer on the bottom. He was in favor of mixing organic matter into the soil, where as it decomposed, it gave off CO2. Oh, CO2 is bad. No, CO2 isn't bad. CO2 in the soil mixes with water to create carbonic acid, which is able to etch minerals out of the soil particles that are then available for the plants. This has been how agriculture has worked all these years. And the no-till uh, religious fanatics are trying to pretend that organic farming never did this. Organic farming has been doing this since it started. And the uh, uh, big Midwestern no-till guys, like they wouldn't have even known about cover crops or green manures if organic farming hadn't kept those concepts alive for the last hundred years.